So this is a gift from our good friends Andy and Vero. It's a cherry tree and it makes it now fruit tree number 18 I think we have and this is our fourth cherry tree so you can never have too many cherries and uh, we went over there a couple of weeks ago because um, they sadly missed our little gathering that we had so we took them some paella and gave them their uh, swinging chair hanging chair and uh, they gave us this in return so Andy and Vero thank you very much Well, whilst I'm in this corner, I might as well continue the process of getting this ivy off the wall. Uh, if you remember last week, I removed the ivy from the other side of the wall, having done this side previously. Uh, but I left it on top because I believe it's growing up through the wall in places. Um, so I'm going to just start at one end and work my way along uh, trimming off whatever's growing out of the wall. And then it's a question of drilling some holes in stumps and poisoning it basically um, salt vinegar bit of bleach maybe um, and just keep doing that process and hopefully I'll be able to keep it under control so whilst I'm here might as well do that now Well, I think I've taken that as far as I can from this side. I'm going to go out into the lane. Uh, it's wanting to fall off the wall now, so I better be a bit careful because where it's still attached to the wall, the weight of that could just, uh, you know, potentially damage the wall. So I'm going to go outside and have a look at it from out there. Well, as you can see, it didn't wait for me. It's come down, but I've severed virtually everything. What was holding it was quite thin, so it was probably likely to snap. Uh, okay, well, that's half down.
Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, why didn't he take the van to the Ivy, just like he did last week? Well, there's a very good reason for that, because last week's Ivy is still in the van. And uh, that's because the um, Deschetri has gone into its new summer hours, or summer lack of hours. Uh, they're now only open until um, Wednesday morning, on a Wednesday morning. And unfortunately, when I did in the last vlog, the Ivy, that was on the Thursday, so I'd missed that one. So I was going to go the Wednesday just gone, but we were actually out all day, or most of the day. We actually went out early. We went to Poitiers, didn't get back in time. So I've missed two uh, Deschetri runs. So I now have a queue of Ivy. But that's okay. Next Wednesday, I'll be up early and I'll get there. Right, so what I'm going to do is get on with that, get that last piece of ivy off. And in the meantime, I'm going to hand you over to Susie because whilst in Poitiers, we revisited a local beauty spot that we uh, went to back in March. So I shall hand you over to her to show you around. So here we are back at Parc de la Roserie in Poitiers. Uh, we said we'd come back again because we came in early spring and nothing was out really. Um, so we're going to have a look round and see how pretty it is. These are a type of lavender. You see them quite a lot over here, they're quite pretty.
Well, that was lovely. Plants and flowers are so pretty at this time of year. A nice time to come. Okay, so today I've done from here all the way past and up to there. So I've got it all off, but there's quite a lot of, I mean, if I show you just one patch, I mean, look at all this. Now, some of that is just on the outside of the wall. It's not going in, but some of it is definitely, I mean, this bit there is loose, but it's, that's, yeah, that's in the build, that's in the wall. So I've got to gingerly do all this, but it's getting a bit hot today. Uh, it's 31 degrees, I believe, which is what, nearly 90. It's, uh, it's clouding up a bit, but it's still very hot. Anyway, I've achieved what I wanted to for today, and that's getting the, this ivy off, and so I can really have a look and see what I'm faced with. But I mean, this patch wall here, you know, that's a very dodgy repair. And in fact, I don't know whether you'll see it, but I can see through there into the garden. Um, but yeah, I mean, look, it's just concreted. It's uh, oh, there's a lot of repair work to be done here. But I've started the job. First task is getting the ivy off, and then then I can get to the wall. Right, I've got my wallpaper steamer, I've got a scraper, but the only problem is can't get up that high, can't get a ladder in, so we need the extension kit.
I came up for a quick half hour of uh, wallpaper stripping, then Susie joined me and went into full demolition mode. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to carry on where I left off. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, a lot of this plaster is actually blown. Yeah. And so you just started picking bits off and then just some, carried on. Some of it came off with the paper. Yeah, but it's, it's a modern plaster. So it's not really that good for an exterior stone wall. Um, Which is why it maybe gets damp. We do get a bit of moisture in the winter, we noticed last year, so it's probably all going to come off. And we were going to paper because they used to have paper, but yeah. Yeah. the paper just peeled off, so I think it's too damp. I, I think so. I, I don't think it's allowed to breathe. No. So we'll probably take all the plaster off, but there is a render underneath, so it's a question of whether it's a concrete render or a lime render. Don't know. We'll work it I, out. I think it's lime. Possibly. It's we hope so. It is probably, so yeah, probably. Anyway, um, yeah, so we'll start clearing up. Uh, in the meantime, I'd like to thank Cindy. Uh, Cindy became a patron this week, uh, so welcome board, Cindy, and thank you for joining us. And for anybody else interested in Patreon, uh, Cindy actually joined us on a seven day free trial and then carried on. So anybody has the right to do that. If you want to go on to Patreon, uh, you sign up, but there's no money changes hands, then after the seven days, you get to decide whether you want to stay or not, and then before you, you get charged after. So give it a try, and if you like it, stay. If, if not, fair enough, you know. But uh, thanks to Cindy. And we'd like to thank Susan for buying us some coffees. Yeah, Susan. Thank and, you. and also she deserves a medal because she's been binge watching <laughs> and commenting on quite a lot of our videos. So uh, thank you, Susan. And um, there's also Linda. She um, gave us some coffee. So thank you, Linda. That's very kind of you. And Michelle. Michelle again. Thank you. Uh, who's um, bought us our hard drive. And so, I, I was laughing last time, well I got the giggles, but it's because you broke the last one. <laughs> yes, so thank you Michelle, we are, we now have capacity, or we will, it's got to turn up yet, we've bought it. Uh, there are a couple of other items we've ordered, we haven't had yet from the wish list that people have bought, so you will see them, we promise you. But thank you all of you, it's very kind, and thank you for everybody who watches, um, it's brilliant, the views are going up, subscribers, we've had 100 subscribers this week alone, so... Yeah. yeah, all going in the right direction, so thank you. Right, should we get uh, cleared up? Yeah. <laughs> so, see you next time. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>